fan theories are continuing to pour in for Bray Wyatt. So we'll take a look at another one that's really picking up steam. We'll also check out some big cancel plans involving Bray Wyatt and the Firefly Funhouse. Let's start things off with another growing fan theory for Bray Wyatt's return. The last theory we went over focused around the idea of Bray Wyatt taking control of the Judgment Day and settling their little disputes with each other. Well, this time around, this Bray Wyatt theory will be focused around Karrion Cross and Scarlet. Cross and Scarlet have had nothing but great success together outside of WWE and promotions all over the globe. They were a very successful and popular act everywhere they went, and they initially brought this momentum over with them to NXT. Karrion Cross and Scarlet's NXT run during the pandemic era was pretty solid and great all around. Their overall presentation was phenomenal, and it was a pretty decent run that included Cross being NXT World Champion. But as everyone remembers, main roster Karrion Cross just instantly went down a pretty bad route and was nowhere the level of his NXT self. His first Raw debut match happened out of nowhere with no prior promotion or advertisement beforehand. It just kind of felt like they were giving him a tryout match live on the air. And when he lost that debut match to Jeff Hardy, fans got worried even more. Cross would stick around for a few weeks, but there was no Scarlet by his side. His presentation was gone, and they had him wearing different sorts of face masks every week that the fans found a bit silly. And in the blink of an eye, the experiment was over and Karrion Cross was released from WWE. But one of the very first few rehires under the Triple H regime was Karrion Cross and Scarlet. They made their returns together back in summer 2022. Cross had his most success in WWE under Triple H in NXT, so a lot of fans had high expectations when Cross and Scarlet re-emerged in WWE. They figured that Cross would get the right treatment and presentation this time around. Karrion Cross's first moment of his 2022 return included him attacking Drew McIntyre and having a stare off with Roman Reigns. So his return really did set him up on this big stage with two of the biggest superstars in WWE. But it just never went anywhere. Karrion Cross did pick up a big win over Drew McIntyre, but it feels like that's the only major win he's had since returning in 2022. And since then, Karrion Cross has been involved with smaller feuds where he'll target someone, he'll pick up their card, and then lose to them in the weeks after that. So it's been pretty rough for Karrion Cross and Scarlett. It was even a viral moment from the July 7th edition of SmackDown. Karrion Cross and Scarlett's entrance got completely cut off, both on television and the arena. The music and lights just shut off before they were even done making their entrance. So all these things have been adding up and fans have really been wondering what's next for Karrion Cross after so much struggling. Some fans have suggested a potential pairing between Cross, Scarlet, and Bray Wyatt. Wyatt and Cross have never been linked together or actually interacted with each other on WWE television, but they're being connected through some older fan theories. Back in 2022, Karrion Cross made his return a few months before Bray Wyatt did, but shortly after Cross returned, the White Rabbit teaser started being revealed by WWE. Before guessing it was related to Bray Wyatt, fans thought the teasers could be connected to Cross, since he had another character named after the White Rabbit. And in another White Rabbit teaser, a circle with an hourglass in the middle of it could be seen. And one of the community's biggest guesses at the time was that the White Rabbit was probably a collaborative operation between both Carrie and Cross and Bray Wyatt. The hourglass representing Karrion Cross because it was something him and Scarlet used very often, and the circle representing Bray Wyatt because that was something he used to talk about a lot as well. And that was a pretty solid guess from the fans at that point in time. And then, when you had all the rumors about the Wyatt Six faction and the potential members that could be involved, a majority of fans had Karrion Cross and Scarlet as some of the most likely members for Wyatt's new faction. Cross and Wyatt were connected so much in the weeks of the White Rabbit teasers that fans thought that Bray Wyatt would make his return at Extreme Rules 2022 by revealing either his partnership with Karrion Cross 
or targeting him. But neither of those possibilities took place. Bray Wyatt and Karrion Cross never crossed paths, nor paired up in the months that followed Bray's return. And now with Karrion Cross being on a massive losing streak and appearing to quickly fade out of the spotlight, fans are wondering if Bray Wyatt could be the one to save Cross and Scarlet, take them under his wing and place them under his leadership. Karrion Cross and Scarlet's character already match that same aura and sort of supernatural element that Bray has, so it could be a smooth fit for the three of them to come together. And similar to the Bray Wyatt Judgment Day theory of Wyatt putting the Judgment Day members back on track, it'll be the same idea here. Wyatt will hopefully try and put Cross and Scarlet back on a positive route and end their misfortune. So that's another Bray Wyatt theory that's floating around. It definitely seems like they can bring him back in plenty of different spots, so it'll be interesting to see what exactly ends up happening there. Speaking of Bray Wyatt, a former WWE superstar is now confirming actual cancelled plans for Bray's puppets to come to life. Mike Bennett recently spoke with Metro and revealed that the Firefly Funhouse puppets coming to life was only a few days away from actually happening before it was ultimately scrapped. He had this to say about what was planned with Bray Wyatt, quote, Early on when Bray Wyatt turned into the Fiend, Vince McMahon was always high on having Bray lead a group, for some reason. He always wanted him to lead a group. We were about a week away from making it happen where me and Eric Young were going to be part of Bray Wyatt's group. We were going to actually be the puppets. They were going to bring the puppets to life. Each puppet was going to represent an actual person. I don't remember. There were talks that I was going to be Sister Abigail and Eric Young was going to be a buzzard." End quote. So a big reveal there from Mike Bennett, but this isn't the first time this was reported. It was first reported a few years back that there was allegedly a pitch to have WWE superstars play the live-action version of the Firefly Funhouse puppets, but it was never really reported on who was going to play them and how close it was to actually happening. But Mike Bennett has now filled in those blanks. It was going to be Mike as the Sister Abigail puppet, Eric Young as the buzzard, and possibly a few more superstars taking up those roles of the other puppets, but it was all scrapped at the last second. But fast forward to 2022, early 2023, and WWE actually did a version of this concept. Bray Wyatt returned at Extreme Rules 2022 with his puppets coming to life and being spread out amongst the live crowd. Those same live action puppets also appeared towards the end of his Royal Rumble match with LA Knight. Fans assumed that maybe WWE was going down the road of unmasking the live-action puppets and revealing it to be other WWE superstars portraying the puppets, but nothing ever happened there with that reveal. So the whole idea with Bray Wyatt's Firefly Funhouse puppets coming to life looks like it's something that's been on WWE's mind since the very start of the Fiend days in 2019. But they have yet to fully pull the trigger on the idea of WWE superstars portraying the puppets. So we'll see if WWE will ever revisit that same concept in a new way once Bray Wyatt returns. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.